Well, greetings once again. This is Dr. Bill Bailey, and this is The Handheld Hack. The Handheld Hack, of course, is the blog and netcast where we talk about all kinds of things that are noteworthy in the uh, handheld space. Yes. We are proud members of the Tech Podcast Network. Techpodcast.com. If it's tech, it's right here on Dr. Bill, the computer curmudgeon. And speaking of handheld devices, that's my phone going off. But I don't care. If you call me on a Saturday morning, I'll ignore you. <laughs> because I'm doing netcast. So don't call me. Boy, that's annoying. I have it on very loud, don't I? Anyway, never mind. It's just a hint and tip there. If you want to talk to me, don't call me on a Saturday morning. Just saying. Okay, <laughs> we're talking about handheld devices and some of these items, because I don't do the netcast for handheld hack as often as others, are a little old. Microsoft came out with an iPad competitor back on June 15th, which is over, a, well, almost exactly a month ago. Sorry, but anyway, they did. And it's called the Surface. There you go. Just saying. Also, prototype handheld device has been created to translate sign language. Now, basically what it does is it it has like a camera and it watches people do sign. I can't do sign language. I don't know sign language. But anyway, you do it and it will translate it into regular words that people who don't know sign language can understand. And then, this is even stranger, you can speak into it and it will translate your speech into sign language. That's pretty cool. So, this was reported by Science Daily, and uh, it is a translation device that some college students came up with. It's a prototype, and it sounds very cool. Kind of a universal translator for sign language. Neat. All right, there is also a new larger handheld gaming device, the Nintendo 3DS XL. XL, of course, for extra large. <laughs> That's why it's larger. Yes. It has a 4.88-inch stereoscopic 3D screen. The top screen. Compared to the regular 3DS's 3.53-inch screen. So cool. Neat little extra space. I like more screen yardage. So, that would be handy to have. Now, what can you do with your Galaxy Note and your PS3 controller? Well, I have a video here that will show you what you can do with it. Let's keep it clean now. <laughs> At any rate, check out the video. Go to the Handheld Hack, handheldhack.com website click through the link there and watch the video it's pretty cool at any rate i think it's a video now that i think about it i wonder if it's really a video let me check it may just be stills it is in fact stills so see i said it was a video oh no there is a demo demo video there it is so there you go it's an updated demo video so check it out it's actually quite cool the guy put it together with just some, <laughs> I started to say duct tape. It's really not duct tape, but it's kind of the equivalent <laughs> in the computer -y world. All right, next item here, last item even, is Open Garden Mesh Network demo video. Also another demo video that you can click through and see here. Uh, this is the Disrupt TechCrunch finalist for 2012 open garden open garden is a neat uh android at least i use it on android uh, tool that allows you to use your phone and tether it to your computer and get internet connectivity for your computer through your phone how cool is that so check that out they have support for all kinds of devices and it's available on the android market or google play uh and also from download or via download from opengarden.com. 
So check that out. The, the video explains the whole mesh network thing as well. So check that out. Very handy handheld device. Well, kind of a hack. You know, allow you to use your handheld device as your portal to the interwebs. Which is cool. So anyway, kind of a short netcast this go-round, but most informative, you must admit. At any rate, join us next time. Remember, until then, you're only as good as your last hack. Thank <laughs> you.